Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I am back at Davis Trailer World today. I stopped in because I wanted to take a look at a Mexican made Double H. They're moving a lot of their production down to Mexico and also overseas to China. I haven't taken a look at a Mexican made Double H on the channel, so I stopped in here the place where I got my first pair of boots ever, Davis Trailer World, to give a Mexican made Double H a quick impression. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. That's right, guys. I am here at Davis Trailer World, the place where I got my first pair of boots ever, and my second, and my third, and my fourth pair. My first four pairs of boots came from this store, and Miss Davis helped me with each and every one of them. Mrs. Davis is the best. If you're ever traveling through York, New York, definitely stop in Davis Trailer World and check out some of the awesome boots. We also have one of Double H's new pair of Mexican made boots. This is the only pair that she has in store and I wanted to check it out to see what the difference is and right off the bat I'm catching a few differences but let's get straight into the rundown. All right, this is Double H model number 7023, also known as the Winston, and it features bison leather on the vamp and the counter, and full grain cowhide leather for the tops. It also features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. It comes in at 11 inches tall and it does have a pretty deep scallop here as well. And you can see pull holes in the side of this as well instead of pull straps. For a heel, we have about a one and a half inch Stockman heel. For an outsole, we have their famous ice outsole. This is a very tough outsole and should end up lasting for years. However, it is on with a good year well so should you happen to run through this outsole or run it down to the point where you're not getting any traction at all you can have a cobbler resole this boot on the inside it is cloth lined around the foot and a leather lined shaft and that is pigskin up here as an insole we have a cushioned polyurethane removable insole and that foam feels really nice and the lining on the top is cloth so we should get some nice cushion out of this especially at the heel I'm really liking how it feels at the heel down here Underneath the insole, we have a fiber board of some sort, uh, kind of like a cardboard, but really, really, really compressed. When a boot like this has a fiber board footbed, it is not the type of boot that you want to soak with water while breaking it in. I see so many of you guys out there soaking your boots before you wear them. These are not old time traditionally made boots where the leather will form around your foot. If you soak this fiber board, it may never ever ever be able to get a resole because once a cobbler takes off this outsole, then the fiber board insole comes shredding apart as well when these boots get soaked. So if you guys get boots with a fiber board footbed like this and a removable insole, do not, I repeat, do not soak them in water to break them in. You may ruin them forever. So that's a drawback right here is the fiberboard footbed. Um, definitely a drawback and cost savings. If you want to see more about fiberboard insoles and how they affect resoles, I recently did a video with Tom Barrett of Siller Boot and Shoe that you can see above. As I mentioned, this boot is made in Mexico and it's coming in at $209 here at Davis Trailer World. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, so I got the Double H Winston on right now and immediately that cushion at the heel especially, that does feel really nice. I like it, you can see how tall it comes up there now that I have the uh, pants just showing the shaft a little bit but let me pull that down so that you can see what it would look like if you were just wearing them normal <clears throat> and 
you know, the first thing that I'm noticing is that the shaft is a little bit more wide. The opening is wider than some of these other boots. And I'll show you a comparison after um, I sit back down. And, you know, it feels very similar fit wise to other double H's. I chose the 11D. If I was to go with a D width from double H, then that's what I would do. And I tried an American made D width here and they feel exactly the same. So I think they're pretty much using the same lasts, uh, especially for their Mexican made boots. So if you are looking to, you know, switch over, save a little bit money and go from US made, double H to Mexican made double H, uh, you can pretty much ensure that the sizing is going to be the same. The bison leather feels really nice. It's definitely thicker. You might need a few weeks to break it in fully, but it definitely feels tough. Um, I like how this boot feels. Let me show you the POV. All right, here's the POV. That wide square toe with the double stitch well definitely pops as you know they're made to do with that lighter well and the white stitching uh, sure not to last very long if you're out and about in the dirt and every you know every day dust so that will get darker as you wear this boot At first glance, there's really not much difference between the Mexican made double H's and the ones that are made in America. However, they are pushing their made in Mexico lines and their made in China lines much, much more than they have been in the past. Mrs. Davis uh, brought over the catalog that Double H sends to just retailers so that the retailers can make their orders for the year or if they happen to run out of certain models they can reorder them so Double H sends them catalogs to show them what's in stock and what they're offering now and in the catalog there are 12 models of made in USA Double H boots 12 models and then you can also maybe double that 24 maybe like 18 because some of them are only soft toes so there are steel toe versions of those 12. If you look at the ones that are made in China and there's 28 and then that's not even including the ones that are made in Mexico so they are really starting to decrease the amount of made in America double H's that they're releasing to retailers or even that they're producing in general. So it's kind of concerning to see Double H, who is an American made brand. They have the American flag on their boxes, like on their US made boxes. They have the American flag. They, they, the shirt above me, they focus on American made products. Double H is America, but they seem to be straying away from that a little bit and it's just kind of concerning to me, especially with how much they market American, right? A uh, couple of things that I noticed, uh, this opening is much wider than what a US boot is. I don't know if you can see the difference, but uh, it, it is a little bit wider. It is just a little bit wider, so that might decrease the amount of jeans that you can wear with a Mexican-made double H. You may be able to wear more jeans with an American-made double H. Another thing that I noticed while pulling this boot off is that the counter feels to be plastic. So I'm getting a lot more give out of this counter than what I would get with a made in the USA double H, which is what you want to expect. The counter is such an underrated area of the boot, guys. You want to have a really strong counter, whether it's leather or not, it should be really thick back here. So when you pick up a pair of boots and you're like, oh, that's a nice boot, the first thing or the second thing that you should do before even trying it on is pinch the heel counter. And if it's tough and it's not giving at all, then that is a good build because this is the support of a boot is this heel counter. If this breaks, if this cracks, if this sags, then the whole integrity of the entire boot is called into question. 
it may not even be able to support your body and that's what boots need to do so this is a really important part and back here we're getting a much much more give out of this heel counter so i am 80 percent sure 80 percent that this is a plastic heel counter mainly because i've been wearing a pair of boots with a plastic heel counter uh and i've been pulling on pulling them on and off all day um <laughs> Well, not all day, but you know what I mean. Um, I just know the feeling of it. It definitely feels like a better plastic heel counter than what's on these Wolverine Boulevard ropers, but still it feels like a plastic heel counter nonetheless. And I don't like that. That is a, that is a quality integrity issue in a boot. Uh, I think that heel counters should be as stiff as possible to support the entire boot and the person who's using them. That's just me though. Let me know what you think. For the price at $209, I think it's okay. Uh, I think that if you wanted a pair of boots with a Goodyear welt, you could save up an extra uh, $50 to $70 and get a boot with a stronger heel counter that is much more likely to last a lot longer. I still prefer the quality of the double H boots that are made in the US over the ones that are made in Mexico. Just off of this quick impression, yes, they both have the cloth linings around the foot, which is definitely a cost savings method. I can understand that for made in the USA, but made in Mexico, I feel like you have the opportunity since things just cost less there to make it a leather lined foot and they chose not to. So uh, I, I wish they did because it makes a difference. It feels better, it breathes better, it's just better all around. And I feel like for the price, you can still get more for the made in the USA double H boots based off of this quick impression. But if you have more experience with the made in Mexico uh, double H's, let me know down in the comments. I look forward to trying them in an extended test so I can get a better opinion for you guys in the future. Uh, would you like to see that? Also let me know about that in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in any of the boots that uh, Davis Trailer World has, uh, here is their phone number. You can give them a call and talk to them about uh, getting a certain pair of boots. They may have something that isn't in your area or that you can't find online. They do have a few boots over here that are discontinued altogether in their clearance section that I haven't seen online before. So. If you're looking for Boulets, Double H's, Abilene's, they may have it here. So give them a call and ask for Miss Davis. And of course, if you guys call uh, from any of my videos, uh, definitely let them know that uh, you found them through me. Like I said, this is the first boot store that I've ever been in. This is the first boot store where I got my boots. And if it wasn't for Miss Davis here at Davis Trailer World, I might not even be doing this YouTube channel. So I uh, love these guys so, so much. Whew. They are seriously the best. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Have a good one. Is this the start of them forgetting their ways? The Double H Mexican made. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video up here about the Double H Dylan? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.